hello everyone and welcome back to this channel so in today's video i'll be showing you an easy way to make a pants trouser if there's something you would like to learn let's get started so here I have my fabric folded into two. I folded it by my hip measurement divided by four and also my crotch extension allowance. So that is how I folded it. I'll be showing you how to get your crotch extension in a jiffy. So I went ahead to rule out my starting point and I'll be adding a band to this trouser. So I'm just going to minus the band I'll be adding. So I'll just take out one and a half inch from this measurement and I'll go ahead and mark my waist to the hip measurement so i'll go ahead and square up that line also still taking out your band measurement i'll go ahead and measure my waist to my crotch extension so your crotch extension is normally two inches below the hip but since it's kind of a high waist trust i used three inches below the hip measurement so next i'm going to measure my waist to the knee so i'm just squaring up that line and also give it a good square so these are the measurements we have so next on the hip line i'm going to divide my hip measurement by four and i'll add one inch seam allowance to this and i also put that measurement on my waistline and also on the crotch line and i also go ahead and square that up so this line will start as the starting point since it is the center of the trouser so next i'll measure what i have on this crotch line which is our hip measurement divided by four don't add the seam allowance then i'll divide that measurement by four also so i'm just going ahead and that will be the crotch extension i had about two and a half inch for my crotch extension so guys i'm just going to come up on this squared area by one inch so just mark one inch then you connect it from this hip line to that one inch then to your crotch extension to get that curve Next, on the waistline, you divide your waist measurement by four. Then you're going to add one inch for seam allowance. If you want to add a dart, you go ahead and add your one inch for that allowance. Then you also use a curve to connect to your hip line like so. So guys, after doing that, you're going to measure what you have on this crotch extension line from the beginning right here to the end of the fabric. Then whatever you have divided by two. So the idea is just to get the midpoint of this pants shows that we're making so divide it by two and mark what you have there so i also take it to my new line and whatever i have on my um, crotch line i'm just going to put it here to get the midpoint so i'm just going to connect this midpoint to meet the midpoint on the crotch line so I also go ahead and do the same thing on the down parts of the trousers. So just get the midpoint and just connect it like so. Next on the new line, you go ahead and divide your knee measurements by two. Add about 19 inches divided by two. So from the new measurements downwards, you divide by two. Then from the crotch measurements upwards, you divide by four. So when you divide your new measurement by two, you also divide what you got by two again. So I had about 9.5. I divided it by two. I have 4.2 on both sides. So one measurement is going on the right side of the line and the other on the left side. So guys, after doing that, I'm just going ahead to take the full measurement of the length of the trouser. So I'm just marking 41 inch for the length of my trouser and added two inches for seam allowance. And when that's done, whatever you have on your knee line, you can go ahead and mark it on the hem part of the trouser. But I find out that it will be kind of boogie on the down part. So you can just go ahead and mark it if that is what you're going for. Or if you wanted to go for something like a straight pant, um, you can just minus half inch on both sides from what you have originally. Just minus half inch, then extend it down to the hem parts of your trouser then i'll go ahead and connect it with a straight rule like so so guys next rule you're going to use a curve rule to join this crotch extension to what you have on the new area of your trouser so i'm just going to connect it like this with a curve so this is basically what we need for the front bodies of this trouser i'm just going to join this also on the side so this is basically the front pattern of uh trouser i'll just go ahead and cut this part out so guys after doing that we're going to place the front bodies on this part to cut out the back bodies so you need space on this area and also on the top part so on this part i'm just going to extend my crotch extension to the back and whatever crotch extension you used for the front you can maintain it for the back so i'm just marking 2.5 inches 
for my crotch extension at the back and also on this part i'm going to be going in by 1.5 inch so just go in by 1.5 inch and you're going to connect to your crotch extension this is basically just to remove any bulge from the back parts of your pants so next on this part you are going to go up by one inch so the back should be one inch higher than the front if you're on the bigger side you can use 1.5 inch so that 1.5 inch we took out took in on the back bodies you're going to replace it on the sides here so just connect this 1.5 inch to the upward one inch you came up by and next you just connect it to the hip measurement on the side so i hope we get this part if not you can go ahead and watch this video again so you get it so next um we're just going to go ahead and mark two inches that is on my crotch extension i'm going to remove half inch so whatever you use on your crotch extension remove half inch and mark it all around um, this part of your pants and also you're going to go ahead and use a curve rule to connect to this part and every other part you're just going to you go in with a straight rule so just connect the lines we have here and basically we are done for the back pattern of this trouser so guys it's kind of it's very easy if you try it actually so this is what we are going to trace out and i'll go ahead and cut out the back pattern of this pant so guys this is the front bodies of the pant i have two pieces and i also have two pieces for the back bodies of the pant so next you're going to go ahead and sew by half inch on this crotch area for the front pattern only so just going to sew on the crotch area guys after sewing this is what i have i made sure to sew it twice so it doesn't tear off later on so i'm just going to open this up right side facing upwards then I'll be placing my back bodies right side facing right side. Then we'll be sewing by whatever seam allowance you left. I'll just go ahead and sew by one inch seam allowance. Then I'll be placing this part also and go ahead and sew one inch seam allowance for both sides. So guys, after doing that, you'll be placing both crotch of the back bodies like so. And I'll go ahead and straighten this part up. Um, this is the back part crotch and also the front part crotch. It is sideways so next you're going to go down to get your hip measurement so remember to subtract the band measurements you're using so i'm just marking my hip line then i'll measure what i have here um, on the hip line to make sure it is exactly my hip measurement if you need allowance you can just add it so it's just half inch remaining that i'll be using to sew on the crotch area for the hip line so next on the waistline go ahead and mark what you have on this part to make sure it is your waistline measurement whatever you have that's running as an allowance don't worry don't worry about it so just mark out the allowance that is remaining then you just go ahead and curve it out to meet this crotch area like so for, from the crotch area it is coming by half inch to meet whatever allowance is left on the waistline so that way it gives you a perfect fit i'll go ahead and sew this after sewing this is what it looks like this is the front crotch area and this is the back part crotch area i also went ahead to open up the sides this is where my zipper is going to be fitting in so guys next we are going to go ahead and hem the trouser so on this part remember i used two inches for my hemming allowance so i'm just going to fold it over like so and go ahead and sew by two inches um hem allowance so next on this part we are going to close up the inseams of the trouser so next you just want to align both the back and front bodies together and you're going to measure your new measurements my new measurement was 19 inches divided by two i have 9.5 so whatever allowance is left i'm going to use it to join the sides so guys after doing that this is what we have i went ahead to hem the trouser and also sew the inseams of the trouser so next to get the width of the band just measure what you have all around the waist area of your trouser whatever you have will be the width of the trouser and for the height i needed 1.5 inch i cut out two inches on fold half inches for joining to the trouser when it is open up it is four inches for the height so guys if you don't know how to fix a band i'll be dropping the link in the description box below you can check that out so i'll go right ahead and fix this and also fix my zipper 
so guys this is the final look of the trouser pants it came out really nice everything laying well as it should i also went ahead to fix an invisible zipper by the side that's why you might not see it so as you can see it came out really well i hope you guys try it so guys if you find this video helpful don't forget to give us a thumbs up like comment and subscribe to this channel i'll see you guys in the next one